Today we're going to talk about live templates in IntelliJ. And live templates are a great way to be a more productive developer. Specifically, I'm looking at uh, live templates for either Java or Groovy or Spring Boot applications. And so I just want to walk through what live templates are and how you can create your own to kind of speed up development. So you already have live templates and you might not even know it. So if you go into, say, um, a method here and you type S out, you'll see that you get some um, descriptions of what these are. Uh, if I go ahead and hit tab, it's basically going to print, uh, write out system.out.println for me so I don't have to type that out every single time. Um, you also may have seen people do public stack void main and hit uh, tab, and then it writes out a public static void main for you. So that's really what a live template is. It's a shortcut to create some code. So this command line runner is something that I'll often use in demos. And maybe I don't want to type this out every time, or if you don't remember how to type this out, um, this is something that we could easily turn into a live template. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this. So copy, and we're going to go up to Preferences. And if you don't know where live templates is, you can just do a search and you will find it here. So just to kind of show you where some of those other live templates were, um, if we look into output, you'll see there's S out. And actually, this is a great way to understand how live templates work and how you can use them. If you just start looking through them, you'll see a bunch of different things that you can do with it. What I want to do is actually create a new category for all my Spring Boot live templates. So what I'm going to do is come up here and hit the plus, and I want a live template group. And we're going to go ahead and call this Spring Boot. And so now I have a grouping of where I can hide all my Spring Boot specific live templates. Now what I'm going to do is hit plus again and go into live templates. So first we're going to give it an abbreviation. So I'm going to say this is command line runner, so we'll go CML. So we'll say command line runner. Then I'm just going to paste in that code that I had, tab it back over. And, oh, actually we forgot about Bean. And so now this is almost complete. We could actually probably use this and it would work out good, but I'm actually going to introduce you to something else. So you can use uh, variables within these templates. And there's actually two to predefined variables, end and selection. I'll go ahead and link to the documentation. There's a lot of really good information on this, but I'm just gonna show you end here. So what we can do is we can say dollar sign end. And now all this does, it says when you hit CML and then hit tab, this is where I want the caret to be positioned because in this case, I would probably want to do something here. Now, if you find yourself always wanting to uh, inject, uh, uh, create some kind of argument in here, you could always come in here and say something like argument one. And again, this is a user defined variable. so. So that would just basically place the caret here, allow you to enter argument one, and then when you hit tab, jump down to the end. So I'm gonna just keep this off for now. We're gonna go ahead and hit apply, okay. And if I come down here, oh, whoops, I forgot one thing, let's back up. So the last piece of this is, all right, we have this template, but when can you use this? So you'll see that there's no applic applicable context here, and we need to actually define one. So we're gonna go into define, and obviously you wouldn't wanna put this in a CSS file or a SQL file. We wanna put this in a Java file. Um, you can say that I want it in a statement, expression, declaration, comment, etc. I'm just gonna go ahead and select Java though. So now that we have that, it says uh, basically it has the where this is going to show up. I'm just gonna hit apply and okay. And now I can do CML and you'll see that this is the abbreviation. This uh, description is what we put in the description here. So if we had a couple different types of command line runners uh, and we, we, we wanted to be more specific with it, we would put that information in our description so we knew about it. So I'm just gonna hit tab and now I have my code sitting there and ready to go. 
So this is not only useful for demos, this is great for demos. So if you do a lot of demos and you have some predefined code that you don't want to sit there and type out uh, because you know people don't want to watch you type forever, uh, you can create your own live template group for say, I'm writing this Unsplash demo. Uh, so in the Unsplash demo, you can just write a bunch of different predefined text blocks that you would just go ahead and use and then people don't have to sit there and watch you type. But not only that, that's not just for demos. This is everyday stuff and it's really great to use and be a more productive developer using it. So I'm gonna create a bunch of Spring Boot specific uh, live templates and I can export those out. So if anybody wants them, let me know. And I hope you take advantage of this. Uh, your ID is your friend, there's no need to fight it. Uh, take every advantage you can. Uh, learn the different things that the ID can do for you. It will definitely make you a more productive developer at the end of the day. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe, comment below, and I will see you in the next one.